Dear Vera, I hope you are enjoying the flowers I sent. I asked for a mixture of yellow, so I hope they followed my instructions. The girl at the florist looked as if she understood me, but she was watching a meme of Tom Hardy in the shower at the time, so you never can tell. With kindest regards for a speedy recovery, Irene. Dear Irene, the flowers were lovely, though dead by the time I returned from my few days away. Did you get my postcard? Mabel didn't receive hers until two days after I was back. This is what happens if you let postmen wear pumps. In case you didn't, an old friend of mine, Audrey Roscoe, runs a little guest house nearby on the coast, and I popped off there for a couple of days recuperation. The views from her bay window are particularly paramanic, so at least I could see the spume bobbing hither and thither. Dear Vera, what a coincidence you know Audrey Roscoe. I knew her some long time ago before she moved to the coast and never quite took to her. You are absolutely right when you say she is a chatterer, mostly rather catty gossip, unfounded on fact. I doubt she'd remember me. I can't write much more just now because Bill is coming over to take me out to a dinner dance. Life has been so hectic since he has been paying his attentions. His wife died very slowly and painfully last year, and I have never seen a man so devoted. Fond regards, Irene. Dear yeah, Irene, new boyfriend, eh? Mm. I read about this woman in the Daily Mail who abandoned all her friends for a new fancy man. And then an illegal immigrant fell off the wing of a jumbo jet and landed on her. So let that be a lesson to you. Best wishes, Vera. Oh, P.S. My chest is much better. Mabel Thrush knitted me a thermal boot tube. Say what you like about her interpersonal skills. She knows what to do with her hands. <laughs>